Hey, Larry, thanks for doing this. I, uh, I know he's been dinged up, so you haven't seen him uh, as much as the other guys in, in OTAs here. But I want to ask you about Tryon, just, just what you liked about him coming in, and, and what do you think he can do for you guys to upgrade your depth here this fall? Well, he definitely uh, passes the eye test. You know, he got all the height, weight measurements. Uh, just watching him on film. If a guy's six five, he can bend, he can move. Uh, got a great motor, plays with high energy. And uh, just his DNA jumps off the, uh, off the tape. Love the way he plays, and uh, he's going to fit in, you know, what we're trying to build here, his mentality. So he should have no problem uh, fitting in. But just looking at his size, you can do a lot with him. And uh, he's agile, so uh, Ty Bowles is in the kitchen right now cooking up some stuff for him. Thank you. And next question will come from Leo Haggerty. If any of you have questions, please raise your hand. Coach, when you look at a guy like like Tryon, is he better with his hand in the dirt, or are you look at him as a coverage guy? I uh, got to do both. In our three four system, to do both. Uh, our mentality around here: the more you can do, is the better. And uh, but that is one of his uh, his strengths in college. He did drop a little bit, uh, but in the three four system, you know, you make the bacon by getting after the quarterback. But if you can uh, show some flexibility, uh, dropping in coverage and even covering guys sometimes, the more, uh, the bigger our package gets. Coach, do you have any concerns about him opting out last year in terms of losing a year of football? Or does that just mean there's more tread on the tire going on? No, I think the Pac-12 uh, was a little different. I know they were late in the year of committing to play. So they had him in a little bit of a limbo. Uh, but you watch his tape, he's a, he's a football guy. He plays uh, with a motor. He's relentless. And you watch his tape, you can tell this kid loves football. He loves the, the small parts of it as far as flying to the ball, jumping in, you know, giving up his body to make plays. And when you see that and he opt out, you don't even uh, think twice about it. Next, we'll go to John Ludyard. Hey, Larry, I'm curious, and in, in you're watching Joe, if you noticed a difference in his get off from a two or a three point stance when he's in one or the other, did you notice a get off in the speed and how he, how quickly he's able to get off the ball, maybe any false steps, things like that, that you need to clean up? He did both. He can rush. Uh, he's comfortable at rush from, uh, rushing from a two point and uh, with his hand in the dirt. And he does fine. He does fine with it. Uh, we're going to ask him to – to do both at times for us. But, you know, whatever you're most comfortable with, do it. We got guys that still go back and forth with the hand in the dirt and two point. But whatever he's comfortable with, uh, he can do it. Anthony Nelson, just can you uh, tell us a little bit about what kind of growth you've seen from him over your time working with him? Oh, uh, he's getting better and better. If you watch the tape and uh, in off season, when you start breaking down the cut ups and watching, you really see uh how how guys developed or, or if they're getting better or just staying the same and he's getting better uh the problem is he got two alpha males in front of him <laughs> so the snap count is, is limited for him but i'm definitely pleased with his uh progress uh did a, a good job for us on special teams but he is growing but he's another big long guy that's uh a good athlete and he brings a lot to the table for us. Thanks, Larry. Next, we'll go to Steve Isbitz. Coach, uh, obviously Shaq had a great, incredible finish to last season, but what does he have to do in your mind to get back to a different level, a higher level of consistency all through the year? Well, I think uh, early in the year, you know, he was frustrated. He was frustrated because he wasn't getting a lot of sacks, but he got in the stand. He was getting chipped. We had a lot of max protect, just uh, two man and three man routes. So uh, he got to figure out ways to to stay after it. Um, sometimes pass rushers they get frustrated when the running backs over there chipping them or coming through, and they double teaming them. But they just got to stay active. They got to stay active, and uh, he definitely played his better ball, you know, later in the season in the playoffs than he did early. And uh, 
you know, I'm quite sure the pandemic, while I like to believe that might have played a part in it, but uh, he's making that big money now. So uh, big money means big expectations. So he better bring it. And coach, I know you played a couple of years in the league uh, when Giovanni Bernard was in the league. Do you have any recollection of maybe studying him with the Steelers? And just can you reflect on what adding a guy like him on offense, how that changes the defense? Uh, well, you definitely got to account for him uh, in the passing game. He's a three-down back. Uh, I remember playing against him. He's a small guy, but he's a powerful uh, little running back, and um, he's a mismatch on, on linebackers. So uh, I'm quite sure him and Tom are going to have a good rapport together. Thanks. We have time for a couple more. Next, we'll go to Greg Almond. Hey, Larry, by, by adding Tryon, you guys uh, take Cam Gill, who showed you guys a lot as a rookie last year, and, and kind of put him on the bubble a little bit. How much do you think you guys can make a case to keep five outside linebackers this year? Well, you know, upstairs, I'm already bidding for it. Uh, <laughs> you know, my room, I'm loaded. I'm, uh, I'm a blessed coach in that room because we got a lot of talented guys in there. And uh, Cam will be just fine. Just got to play. And uh, – the unique part about being a pass rusher and outside linebacker is not that much uh, politics in it because if you can get after the passer, there's a spot for you. There's a, it's going to be very – he's going to make it very hard for them to get rid of him. Uh, he did well on special teams, but that's why we have training camp. Thank God we're going to have preseason games and uh, the cream always uh, rise to the top. And uh, I like his mentality. I like what he did so far this week. And uh, I'm excited to see them guys compete. 